iSpring's brand new Dialog Trainer helps you create branching dialog scenarios and publish them for any device. Dialog Simulation is a valuable tool for businesses who need to train employees to have professional conversations with clients or associates. You can start the Dialog Trainer from the iSpring Suite Quick Start window or from the iSpring Suite toolbar in PowerPoint. Start creating a dialog by clicking New Scene. A scene consists of a character's speech and the user's possible replies. Click here to choose a character from the character library, and then click the background tab to choose a background. Consider the following scenario with a library patron. The patron says, can you tell me where I can find a book on astronomy? Now here we have the option to give the user some reply choices or a feedback message. When you provide a feedback message, there will be no reply choices, just a continue button which you can link to any other scene. In this case, let's give the user two choices, a professional reply and a not so professional reply. We can connect them with new scenes by dragging the link icons away from the scene dialog. This way you can create complex branch scenarios to reflect the types of situations your users may encounter. Add appropriate responses from the character to match the user's reply choices. You can also modify the emotion of the character to reflect the answer the user chose. When you're ready to preview your scenario, click the Preview button on the toolbar. You can also preview an individual scene by clicking the Play button in its Edit box. You can zoom in and out of your scene by rolling your mouse wheel or clicking the plus and minus buttons. This feature is particularly useful for long dialogues with complicated branching. At any time, you can configure the properties of the scenario or customize the player. When you open the Dialog Trainer via iSpring Suite, you can either insert a scenario on a PowerPoint slide with this button or publish it as a standalone course from the file menu. The preview window shows you how it will fit on a desktop or laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Thanks for watching this getting started video. Now it's time to start creating.